Hello, I'm Amy with Reading Teen, and for my first um, vlog, book review vlog, I'm going to be reviewing Immortal Beloved by Kate Tiernan. Um, I'm so happy that I read this. I just put it on my, Andy and I just recorded our um, 2010 best picks of the year, and I had just finished it the day before, so I'm really glad I did. I've had it on my bookshelf since ALA, and I started hearing a lot of good things about it, so I decided to give it a try. I am so glad I did. It was amazing. Um, I read this book so fast. I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning. I read it in two days. Anyway, um, Nastasia, she um, is immortal. She has a bunch of other immortal friends that she hangs out with in London. Um, they're such the wrong crowd for her. They're mean and rude and they're constantly partying and, um, just a hard lifestyle. And so she got sick of it and decided to leave them. She came to the U.S., rented a car, and started driving. She had pretty much no idea where she was going to go. Over to River's Edge. It is a halfway house for immortals. And um, she just, she hates it at first, and, um, but she starts learning about everything, just about the world, about astronomy, and about um, how to grow crops and make homemade bread, things that she did 100, 200 years ago. She just forgot about all of that. She forgot about her roots, where she was from. Um, she learned all over again who she was. She is 450 years old. And what I love about this book is Kate Tiernan just does an amazing job on writing it and telling the story. And um, Nastasia, she is constantly thinking about her life. Um, Kate Tiernan does a great job taking you back and forth. Um, you know, from the 1500s to the early 1900s to you know, just talking about what life was like, and it was so interesting. Um, there are some pretty bloody moments, pretty gory, and um, some was very hard to stomach, but it really made the story um, very interesting. She meets Rain at River's Edge, and she falls head over heels for this guy, and he reminded me a lot like um, Ian from The Host. This whole book reminded me of The Host. Her living in this commune with all these um, immortals from different walks of life, different stories, and she starts to fall in love with all of these people, except, you know, a lot harder for Rain. And he is um, um, just very quiet. Um, they actually have a really hard time getting along, she's constantly yelling at him, and, and he makes her so angry, yet she can't keep the thoughts of him out of her head, and um, I just love the back and forth um, between them, it just makes for a really, really good storyline, and um, so that was too, was a plus for me, was they didn't meet, and two days later, they're madly, deeply in love with each other, and it seems very unrealistic. Um, it's not like that at all. It was much more realistic the way that um, their relationship went to me than um, most books I read today. So you've got to read this book. There's so much detail. There's so much involved in it. Um, it's the first of a trilogy. If you have it on your shelf, please bump it up on your TBR list. Um, you will be glad you did. And if you don't have it, go out and buy it. Um, I'm sure Kate Tiernan would appreciate it. Thank you for watching and um, Merry Christmas. I'll show you